uh, hi all uh, good morning good afternoon and good evening so today we are going to discuss about internal material transfers and as part of internal material transfers we will see how to create a transfer order using minmax plant item okay so as part of this demo i have logged in with scm01 dash student who is having access to all the roles which is required to complete this process okay so i have logged in with scm01 student and uh, then from product management we'll go to product information management so before going to start uh, the flow we will see what are the setups required uh, to complete this flow okay so i am in product information management and uh, from task pan select manage items and search for as6500 item okay so i have created uh, uh, this item and i have uh, created in master arc and uh, then i have will i have assigned uh, this item to 001 and 002 organizations okay so first let's go to the master organization which is 000 okay and then go to specifications and uh, under item organization select planning okay so if you see inventory planning method i have selected it as min max planning and uh, i have given minimum quantity as 1 and uh, maximum quantity as 10 and replacement type i have selected as organization so we have other two options as a sub inventory and supplier we will see this later okay so replacement type is uh, organization okay so this this is the setup which i have done in master organization okay then uh, we will go to uh, the organization 001 and uh, go to specifications under item organization select planning so here uh, by default the inventory planning method make by minimum maximum so all those uh, things at item attributes came from the master organization itself so if you see here uh, the replacement type is organization which is at uh, the you know which we have set up in uh, master arc okay so here are uh, the organization i have selected it as atlanta which means for 001 organization in 001 organization for item as65100 i am going to replenish it from another organization called atlanta and its organization code is 002 okay so then uh, like we will go to manage items and uh, see for uh, 002 i am not i have not changed any setups it will be as same as master organization okay so and the next thing is if i want to replenish the item from 002 organization there should be on hand quantity for a65100 right so for this uh, you go to supply chain uh, execution and uh, go to inventory management and we will check on hand quantities available in this organization or not okay so from task pan first what i have done is to increase the on hand quantity i went to this uh, create miscellaneous transaction and i did a miscellaneous receipt to increase the on hand quantity in 002 organization okay so first quickly we will check what is the you know on hand available in 002 organization so click on manage item quantities and enter as65100 and search for it so now in 002 we have on hand quantity available right right so then um, to generate the transfer orders first of all we have to stock the item in 001 we have to restock it so then only like a transfer order gets generated in 002 to do this we have to submit program right so i am going to you uh, know what you guys can do is um, from home go to tools and from there you can uh, select uh, the schedule processes or uh, like uh, from 
navigator go to tools okay go to tools and from there uh, you can select scheduled processes okay click on schedule new process and enter search for a program called print min max report okay so click on the list of values and then click search and enter print percentage min percentage max search for the program okay select the program click ok in schedule new processes window and process details here what I will do is I don't have on hand in 001 I want to restock it from or like I want to replace it from another organization 002 right so here I will select organization as 001 why because I want to receive the items in 001 and sort by inventory item I will enter the item here okay so it is not mandatory but like you know to in order to complete this program uh, quickly so I am entering the item okay so then planning level is uh, okay what happened okay, double s okay yes six by hundred okay and planning level is organization right so then uh, uh, demand cutoff dates and all it's up to you uh, yeah, uh, it is uh, not mandatory so I will go ahead and click it uh, click the submit program so before that let me quickly go to advanced and uh, let me select the template so that I can see in okay output click here <clears throat> I want to see it in PDF format okay so let's submit the program okay so double two seven two three six one is submitted okay just refresh it okay so now uh, print minmax planning report it's completed uh, let's view the output okay so to check what is the reorder quantity there is a formula behind this okay so if you see the output uh, okay so for as 65100 item that uh, minimum quantity is 1 and maximum quantity is uh, 10 since there is no on hand available in 001 so system has order for quantity 10 okay right so now uh, we are uh, done with the minmax uh, uh, planning report then what we will do is uh, we will submit uh, another program okay schedule any process and uh, click on the list of values and go to search and here uh, process percent supply click on search So process supply chain orchestration interface okay so basically what this program will do is it will push the records into process uh, supply chain orchestration interface tables okay so click on ok ok right so here what is the supply request system it is inventory module right so we here we have to select oracle fusion inventory management so i'm not entering any other fields uh, just i'll go ahead and uh, click on submit Double two seven two three seven eight is the request id okay okay so let's wait uh, for this uh, program to complete i will refresh it okay so now process uh, supply chain orchestration interface is uh, completed okay so here uh, guys like you know one thing uh, i made a mistake while submitting the minmax uh, planning report i have not selected uh, restock as yes 
so that's why like i have submitted uh, the program once again and then i have submitted the process uh, supply chain orchestration interface okay so please make sure uh, now while submitting uh, the minmax planning report uh, you select uh, the option uh, restock as yes okay so now uh, my process supply chain orchestration interface is uh, succeeded so what i'll do is i'll, I'll go to inventory management uh, and i'm in already in 002 organization from task pan uh, select manage transfer orders source organization is 002 okay so we are going to get the material from 002 to destination organization 001 okay item is as 65100 such okay so now a transfer is order is created so what is the next process the next process will be like uh, from uh, the same inventory organization we have to do the picking and shipping right so cancel this click and done so from task pan uh, show tasks select shipments and click on manage shipment lines okay so here enter our transfer order number click on search okay so in edit uh, shipment line uh, no window page uh, get displayed so here uh, from actions we do the pick release first okay so a concurrent uh, request got submitted pick release request id is double two seven two double four one okay so click on okay then again from actions you click on ship ship confirm so before going to uh, do ship confirm uh, you just uh, wait for a few seconds uh, because when we do the pick release there are the programs uh, you know which got uh, submitted in back end let me quickly check whether those programs are completed so it is still uh, this uh, pick release uh, documents or program is not uh, completed so let it uh, complete and then we will do the ship confirm from 002 organization okay so from 002 now try to do the ship confirm okay so what is the current shipment status it is showing it as open the weight and volume was not defined for the entity shipment do you want to continue okay now let's click on yes because we'll see shipment 63195 okay so now shipment is closed which means this particular item is shipped uh, from organization 002 against the transfer order 133046 okay so what is our next step we have to receive this material in 001 organization right so let me uh, i am in inventory management itself now what i'll do is i'll change the organization to 001 and click on ok and from task pan uh, show tasks and uh, select receipts and click on receive expected shipments ok so here uh, we can enter our transfer order number which is 133046 ok so click search and receive this material into your 001 inventory organization so uh, to which sub inventory you are going to receive select that particular sub inventory
so i am going to receive into a stores uh, sub inventory right okay so click on create receipt okay so now click on submit so that a receipt get generated okay so 517 is my receipt number right so now we have received the material uh, into 001 organization so let's quickly check uh, whether the on hand quantity is increased in 001 organization or not so from show task select inventory and uh, click on manage item quantities and enter as 65100 click search so now uh, this on hand quantity is 10 okay so this is uh, the you uh, know uh, this is part of internal material transfer uh, what we have done is as part of internal material transfer so we have created items uh, let me quickly go to the you know, spreadsheet so we have created an item in mass park then we have assigned that item to 001 and uh, 002 organizations then i went to you know this uh, 001 organization uh, i have uh, opened this item and uh, uh, the replenishment type is organization and uh, from where i want to receive uh, i want to receive uh, uh, mean like i want to get the material from 002 that's what i have given it uh, against uh, 001 uh, organization right so then i did a miscellaneous receipt in 002 to increase the on hand quantity so then i have submitted a min max uh, uh, report and verify the reorder quantity in 001 while submitting i have selected organization as 001 and the restock option as yes okay so then i have submitted the you know process uh, supply uh, interface to insert the records into process supply interface table so once i submit this program the transfer order is created in 002 then i did the picking and uh, shipping of this particular item from 002 and finally i have received the item in 001 then we verified uh, the on hand quantity in 001 so this is the process on like how to generate the transfer order using minmax okay so if you like this video please like comment and uh, subscribe uh, i'm going to load uh, the other uh, processes as well in uh, future okay so thanks for uh, watching have a nice day thank you bye